Hi guys, and welcome to my life update vlog. So basically we'll just go through what's happening in my life and I was thinking of giving you guys a bit of dating advice as well from my mom, inherited from her. So we'll start with a really basic question of what's up? Basically what's up is COVID is affecting everything. So we can pretty much end this video here. Just kidding. Basically everything in my life is pretty well at the moment. I'm training, I've been seeing my friends, I've been spending a lot of time with my mom, which I love. For the past few weeks I've spent the weekend at my mom's place in central Finland. Otherwise I'm based here in Helsinki. I was supposed to be in Pakistan right now, climbing some Kerkor mountains. Actually I think I would be back already, so I would be recovering from climbing in Pakistan right now. But because we all, I think, have had to alter our plans because of what's happening in the world without getting too much into detail so that my stress levels don't go up. <laughs> I'll just say that COVID happened and I've gotten a proper training season now. And there's been a bit of a glitch. My knee, this one, got inflamed after my ultra run on Halti, or basically it was after that, but it was in Norway because there were so many beautiful mountains, I could not keep away from there and all that going up and coming down right after running 115 kilometers on really difficult terrain was resulted in this. So I've been going to physiotherapy, seeing a chiropractor, um, but also had to alter my training plans. Which takes us to our next part, training. I still get a lot of questions about training, so I thought we'd touch that topic a little on this video as well. So because of the knee, I've had to alter my plans just so that instead of going the full 20 weeks of extensive aerobic training, I ended up doing 16 and I'll just do the four last ones later on. So I've been doing a lot of technical training, which has been super nice. I've been training with Enni, who was in my last video, go check it out. And she's just one of the best ice climbers in the world and such a good coach. So it has been awesome. I've really started to feel more like more rounded in all my training because in addition to technical training, well, I've improved my skill set there. And now I've also in, like, focused on strength training, so I'm getting like. So that's, that's been my training. I know that because of this situation in the world, talking about the COVID-19, all kind of constantly under a bit of more stress than we would usually be, like less or more, but it's kind of on the background. But when something happens again, which seems to be out of your control, which was my knee situation, it, got me pretty down for a while. I was just kind of floating around, not really knowing how I should adapt. I knew I wanted to adapt, but I kind of ended up just being like Bleh, for a while, which was sometimes it's good. So my first step was accepting that I'm not sure where I'm going, but I figured that I would figure it out. So I just was okay with feeling not too, too in control. And then after working through it, I decided that despite my emotions being a bit negative, I wanted to go forward towards my goals. I wrote down all my goals again. I wrote down my dreams. I made the logical next step and it kind of got things rolling. I've got two amazing coaches. I've got a good physiotherapist, the chiropractor and a good team with me doing this. So it was luckily pretty easy to figure out the next obvious step, but to get your mind into that place where you're like, okay, I'm willing to change my plan and go towards um, my goal this way instead of like adapting to a new way of going towards my goal. So that was the, in short, short and sweet, like me. 
about adapting to the situation, realizing that we people, we label things like good or bad, but in the end, it's actually just life. So things happen. They don't, we don't necessarily need to label them as good or bad because that makes us feel a certain way about them. So this happened and I felt this way. I accepted that. And despite my feelings, I took the next step forward. And now I've been, I've got a good plan for strength and technical training. Love and relationships. I thought I would need to address this topic because some people seem to think that I'm married and other people ask me out. So there's kind of like a big, bigger spectrum there. I'm not married, by the way, I'm divorced. So we're great, great friends with my ex, but in the future, even if I were to get married, I wouldn't say about that. At least that's how I feel at the moment. Maybe that will change, but I kind of don't want to talk openly about relationships because my past experiences with the, talking about my relationship openly in the media weren't very good. Instead, I will give you some dating advice from my mom, who I've been hanging out with a lot. Some of you may have seen in the tabloids, which tend to be nowadays that I'm not a relationship kind of person. So this kind of comes from my mom, maybe. Don't tell my mom I'm saying this. Advice number one. Relationships that we have when we're teenagers are like hamsters. Uh, they will die within a couple of years, but it doesn't mean that you, cannot, you shouldn't take care of them. Advice number two. Never date someone whose ex looks like you. You don't want to be someone's type. Number three, which I got from her last weekend was... She doesn't recommend dating because it's so hard to get rid of them afterwards. So you can use these uh, relationship advices if you feel like it, but don't have to. And then we go to the last part, my future plans. <sighs> COVID. <laughs> this is going to be a COVID video now. I'm probably not the only one who's had to cancel a lot of plans and who's kind of vaguely planning stuff but not establishing anything entirely. What I can plan is things loosely to like everywhere else in the world. In Finland we unfortunately don't have mountains but I can also plan little trips to Finland. So we've got a few outdoor climbing trips like three days, four days coming up pretty soon. You'll have some video footage from those, I think. Then possibly, hopefully, Norway will open up soon sometime again. It would be nice to go ice climbing out there. I'd love to go to Switzerland, um, to France, to Italy, to the Alps there. For winter, like January till end of February, we have been planning for a longer time already this bigger trip to South America, which would be super cool. Just go get on the road and then climb and climb and climb. But we'll see. Don't know how that will work out. And for next summer, it's going to be Karakoram again. Hopefully. This is all depending on the world situation and uh, I definitely do not recommend traveling until it's safe again. But meanwhile, in Finland, I will be training a lot. I will be so strong when I get back to the mountains. Um, more rounded in my training, as I was saying earlier. And I have a few cool sponsorship events, some photo shoots, some filming, that kind of things. So get to spend time in the entertainment industry again, but definitely prioritizing my training and recovery with the knee. But we're almost there. I was cycling the other day. No, yesterday and the day before. <gasps> and I'm gonna go tomorrow again. But yeah, that's my life update. I'm sorry, I was a little tired today. I started at six in the morning and now it's like 8 p.m. No, half past eight. So see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>